I've got cameras pretty much everywhere. Gotta know what I look like at all angles, at all times. Can I? Cage wins. If you noticed, I did do a little bit. I did the first two levels. Well, actually, well, actually yeah, well, yeah, the first two levels. That is a bad on my part. There were technical difficulties, which made it to where I did those two, first two levels off recording, so that's the, my bad. But since YouTube will definitely be, uh, will definitely strike uh, this video, I am just gonna try my best to keep this safe. thought things were crazy before? <laughs> well, buckle up, Buttercup. Because through those doors is what I like to call Demon Alley. Only go in there if you like fighting vicious nether realm beasties. Ugh, if I could only figure out how they're getting in here. Ooh, what's in here? Me the collector? collector? My personal shopper and lifetime pickleball teammate. He's a cool dude. Just don't get on his bad side. My man's always on the hunt for shiny new stuff. He'll buy or sell pretty much anything. Well, what do you got for me, collector? Bro's acting like he's the merchant for Mortal Kombat. I mean, not Mortal Kombat, Resident Evil 4. Character resurrects back to 50% only once for the next encounter. I'm gonna save up for that. That seems OP. After discovering a shop, you can teleport back to the nearest shop from the pause menu. We'll refresh your stocked items every hour. Sweet. Chaos Maker, aka Havoc. Ooh, he's got a modifier. Many encounters along your journey will have modifiers. Modifiers can affect one fight or both fighters. I don't know why I said fight one fighter or both fighters. You can counter the effects of modifiers by using consumables. Ow. As you can see, I really like doing this combo. I'm just gonna use this fatality every time because this is the least violent 
achievements, so I just kill stuff, complete five unique encounters. Johnny Cage wins. Yes, I do. I'm level one, so you can level up in this game. Huh. Y'all, y'all see that dead guy in the pool? Bro, what is he doing? Fight. Let me get first hit props. Ah, no! Yes! Kung Lao, you will not. I was gonna do the brutality, but I decided against it. It's really weird how he only deploys like 15 mines, and those things do not have that high of an explosion radius whenever you actually use them in whenever you're not using it in the fatality. Yet, like 15 mines can blow up the whole earth. Like, just look at this and self destruct. Okay, self destruct. Look at that mine, and it does like nothing. Let's keep going. The super armor tutorial. Have super armor during their attacks. This means that their attacks cannot be interrupted, but they can be blocked. Yeah, like that thing right there? Okay. Your opponent's super armor attacks can be interrupted during a short window when it- Okay, it's blue when they can strike. Vulnerability window is different for each of your opponent's attacks. Study your opponent as you block to find your best opportunity to attack. Dang it. What? There we go. Ooh, 500 coins. Why are there so many people in my house, demon lady? Also known as Ashra. Oh, 
Cyrox, don't fail me now. Okay, you failed me. Yeah, Johnny Cage, record yourself dying. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. Talisman, uncommon. Producing triangle has an That crazy demon lady dropped the talisman. It's pretty powerful if you know how to use it. Ooh, you can also upgrade a talisman at a forge, you know. Okay, so if I press triangle, I can check my inventory, right? Yeah. But it's not there. Components are used to upgrade talismans at the forge. Armor against armor against up to 100 plus damage plus five activation speed it has three charges on it sure what the heck is that thing a tar cotton i'm thinking it's a tar cotton because it's skinny and it's bald And it looks really weird. Be used in combat to fire projectiles, power up your attacks, or even heal your character. You can fire a flaming nether skull, dealing fire damage on hit. Ultimate power, use a talisman. Okay. Are not used instantly and can be interrupted. They also have a limited number of charges. They can only be replenished at the forge. Use them wisely. Hit the opponent with a talisman while avoiding their attacks by blocking, ducking, or jumping. Blah, blah, blah. To destroy incoming projectiles. A locked gate. I need a key card for it. Oh, but I can't go this way. Super sized. Why did Johnny Cage spill ketchup all over his floor? That's expensive. With a giant house like that, that would probably be expensive. Just kidding, it's literally just a mop. Hey look, it's Bob. Bob's my bodyguard, private chef, and personal trainer. He so can do everything. <laughs> oh god, that was such a bad joke. Why did he do that? Oh, this is the forge. Created a talisman. After completing it, you will be able to recharge as well. New bonuses, these could enhance it or give it entirely new properties.
Yeah, sure. So crafty, forge a talisman. Well... Three? Nope. I am not spending three hundred for that. So, you remember old Demon Alley and how much fun that was? Well, now it's time to throw down with a whole mess of super psycho ninjas. These dudes have ice running through their veins. Like, literally. Use that talus thing on the bob you found. It'll give you an edge. I don't need it. What the heck? Is that an arcade? I want it! This There's the- you take down those pesky house crashers. Open the invasions loadout, and then to view the elemental damage chart. Whoa. I literally picked the worst character. I picked the dude with the least amount of strength, uh, with the least amount of weakness, yes. But the but the most uh, least amount of strengths as well. Well, he's kind of neutral cuz he also does less damage to only one type and then less and then more damage from only one type as well. So, he's mid. But it seems whoever is electric, probably Raiden, would also be good. Because it's basically the same thing. He's kind of a mo Okay, yeah. I picked a decent thing. I did not mean to go backwards. I think after this fight, I'm gonna call, call it off for now. And then maybe do an another episode tomorrow because it is 10.30. What's that? A brutality game over, man. Alright, well, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow with another episode of Invasion. Bye!